In this brief video, I'm going to compare the performance of Joulescope to two multimeters. The first multimeter is a BK Precision, and the second is a 121GW from EEV Blog. This will be baselined against the Keysight SMU, which is more accurate than both. Through the magic of digital editing, I'm going to put the on-screen display of Joulescope right here. The first setup uses 10 microamps in constant current mode to a 1 mega ohm resistor. All the devices perform well. I'm now going to cycle to a few different settings. 1 microamp, 500 nanoamps, 100 nanoamps, off, no current. One of the cool features of the 121GW compared to most multimeters is its low burden voltage. I'm going to compare that to Joulescope. I've now changed the setup. I have the SMU outputting current through the EEV Blog 121GW multimeter out to Joulescope, which then goes to a custom load board with a half ohm load, goes back through Joulescope and then back to the SMU. This one amp is being measured by the EEV Blog multimeter and by Joulescope right here. The burden voltage, which is the voltage across the multimeter, is about 35 millivolts. Burden voltage of Joulescope is about 24 millivolts. In this video, we saw the performance of Joulescope and multimeters in static current testing. In dynamic current testing, Joulescope outperforms both of them. Thanks for watching.